Hello everybody and welcome to Tip Tuesday from Sweet Beads in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hey everybody, welcome back to Tip Tuesday. This is Shay and today we're talking beading hacks. What's a hack? Well, it's when you have to get through something on an emergency basis and it's an alternate method of doing something the traditional way. So today we're going to hack when you have a beading emergency. For example, you're almost done with your fabulous bracelet that you want to wear tonight, but you've run out of fire line. What do you do? Well, run to your medicine cabinet, grab some dental floss. We're using just plain wax dental floss and snap off what you need. Finish your project for the night. And then when you get your fire line back in, reinforce that and take care of the problem. But remember, plain dental floss. This one's waxed. So if you're used to NIMO, it's already been waxed for you and uh, it'll take care of your beading emergency. Speaking of emergencies, you're working on a project and your last big eye needle breaks. What do you do? Well, again, run to your medicine cabinet, hopefully, and you may have some of these in there. What is it? It's a floss threader. It's used to um, bring dental floss underneath your bridge work. And if you have one of these handy, you have a big eye needle. You just place your thread through the large hole and then this very stiff end will work as a needle. This is also really great if you have um, yarn. So for example, maybe you're loading beads onto yarn to knit with, um, it's a fabulous big eye needle, okay? And last but not least, you need to measure your beadwork and your ruler has gone MIA. My ruler goes missing all the time. For some reason it gets up and walks away. So what do I do? Well, a dollar bill is six and one quarter inches long. So if you need to measure your beadwork, there's six and a quarter, and then I'm gonna eyeball the rest and say that's about an inch. So I have seven and a quarter inches on my beadwork. Um, again, it's not a perfect hack, but it'll give you a pretty darn good estimation, and it's great in a pinch. So those are three beading hacks for you to take with you today, just in case of emergency. What are your favorite beading hacks? Let us know by telling us on our Facebook page or tweeting us, or you can send us an email at sweetbeadslv at gmail.com. Until next week, have a great week and happy beading. And don't forget to purchase all of your beads, thread, needles, supplies. Check us out at sweetbeadslv.etsy.com.